Today I had a long conversation with the lady at the guest house I'm in and she told me about everything in Indonesia and all Bali, how I was getting scammed every single day. But there's a matter, she told me about a market that is right here. At the same place that there's a night market, there's also a day market in the day. Let's check it out. I think I'm the only foreigner in this market. Okay, distraction being done. I want to go work, do some review for the week. Let's go. Look at those palm trees. Pretty hot in the street, but I'll change location and go to a place for lunch. Today I want to review some of the basics. Travel and consistency is so freaking hard. It's incredible. So today I thought I would review a little bit the basics with you guys to help you understand a little bit how to get consistency and also share some things that I'm trying to implement, especially regarding morning routines. And there's a couple of things that I was doing back home that I don't do here. And I find it so hard to wake up early, do the exact same routines I had before. So I wanted to like do a deep dive into these topics and share with you guys what I'm planning to do, how I'm gonna do it. Hopefully if you guys do the same as well. So back home, it used to be so simple to do the exact same thing every morning. You don't have to think about it, you just do the exact same thing every day. And everything is consistent, there's no change. You always are able to do everything because there's nothing around that could kind of make you change your habit. But when you travel, you keep getting to your destination and that's the hardest part because then you have to modify everything and you have all these things outside pushing you to do other things. You have these uh, kind of limitation, things that make you want to change, make you want to do things different and that's really a big mess, especially when it comes to morning routine and waking up early. So after some research, I thought about a couple of things that I wanted to implement in the next couple of days. I want to share these things with you guys today and hopefully it can help me be better tomorrow and hopefully help you guys as well do the same. So let's start with number one. First thing to a morning routine. Here's the basic concept. If you put your alarm clock next to you, it's so much harder to wake up. And that's one thing I realized by having my alarm clock really close to me when I was traveling and putting it a lot more far these past couple of days. And it makes a huge difference. So when you have to stand up to close your alarm, it's much easier to stay awake and to stay up thereafter. That's the first part. The other thing I read recently is that you could actually get to use your alarm clock meaning that at some point if you use the same alarm clock it doesn't even make any difference so you have to be careful with this and I think I'm gonna try tomorrow morning to use one alarm that's gonna be different for every single day of the week that was gonna be like a different song or different music so I'm not gonna get used to it which is something I'm gonna try it's interesting I think. about a couple of things yet we didn't touch on. Let me get back and we'll be able to conclude that topic. Cool, so that leaves us pretty much only with the last part, which is what you do when you wake up. And there's a couple of things here. The number one thing to remember here is that you have to, number one, move, and you have to make sure that you stay positive. So those are two big things. And the first one is gonna be do some exercise, of course. And for the other one, it's gonna be something that you like to read or listen to, and that's gonna help you move forward. And that's always a big part. So every single morning when I wake up, I try to do a journal that I keep. I always drink some water no matter what. And I ensure that I listen to like a podcast or read a book that's going to be impactful and positive. And those are things that I say I try to because I failed the past couple of weeks. 
but those are things that I'll implement in the coming days for sure. I'll let you guys know how that goes, but that's the goal for uh, the next week. There's a bunch of things you can do like visualization, meditation, if you're into that stuff, a little bit for me, but it's not a big thing. But that pretty much leaves us with everything we have to talk about for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. I'm giving you some tips for the morning. If you guys have any other tips, make sure to comment below. Let me know what tips you have, what is good for your morning, what you've seen success with. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video as always. Ciao.